All right, we had a good night at Spalding. It uh, wasn't much going on, a nice little to uh, quiet, tiny town. Pub was closed, but the, uh, the store on the corner, the general store there, they did an absolute fantastic potato. I wish I took a photo of it. I thought 15 bucks was big for a potato, um, a bit much for a potato, but I tell you what, it was loaded, and for two of us, brilliant. Anyway, today we've been touring along on our way to Borra, and um, it wasn't on my list of things to do, but it popped up on Wikicamps. The house over there, that was on the cover of the Midnight Oil um, Diesel and Dust album. I think it was August 1987. So there we have it. Pretty cool to come across that little baby. Didn't know it was so close. <laughs> All right, onwards. Sadly, the weather is, uh, well, it's still sunny. It's blowing like you wouldn't believe. So I'm actually tucked behind this chimney. Um, we're in uh, the little town of uh, Borough. Well, it wasn't, wasn't a little town back in the heyday. It had over 5,000 people, I think, by the, 90, uh, the 1850s, 1860s. 5,000, it was the, uh, the town Inland uh, South Australia was the biggest, I believe. Um, some guy found uh, some copper back in 1845-ish. And uh, yeah, it's pretty wicked what's, uh, what's around here. Um, I'll step up. I'm just sort of trying to work out how to go about it because it's just so windy out here. But uh, down behind me is, the, uh, is one of the, uh, the major mines. I think there was about three around. Um, and uh, it's got a good vantage point of everything. And then out on the other side here of the, uh, the chimney, there's chimneys all over the place. But yeah, there's uh, some engine houses and things, uh, some interesting old relics around. So yeah, quite a place steeped in history. Goes a little deep for my, uh, my uh, recall memory. Um, but uh, Jude will put some facts up. We'll have a walk around and see what we can uh, we can make out. But what you can do here is when you're in Borough, you can go to the information centre. $30 gets you a key. And there's about um, eight or nine key points around the town of Borough. And there's uh, little gates and you can open up the gates and you can drive through or open up uh, certain doors. Um, so uh, you could do that little tour. We've just elected to do the old, uh, just while walk around and have a look at the old stuff that's laying around. Anyway. I don't know how much of that you'll hear or understand, but we'll move around and we'll add some photos in.
Roy, we made it to a new spot. Um, we had a good little stop there at Burra, but the wind and a bit of rain and it was howling through. Couldn't really get much good footage. So I uh, got up early this morning, made our way through to a place called Farrell Flats. How awesome is that? Look at this, look at this little, uh, little train station through there. Sadly, private property can't get through, but man, it looks gorgeous. What a lovely little train station. Something else that's really uh, quite uh, popular here in uh, Feral Flats, and of course we've been chasing our way around Australia for a few of them. This one is very colorful. Check it out. Well, this is what we come to see here in Feral Flats. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty? So it's one of the trains that used to call through Feral Flats here. Um, I've got a, a nice old bloke here that's been uh, talking to me. He said that there was 50 odd trains a day that would come through Feral Flats. Obviously carting supplies and taking stuff in and out and passengers and things. So yeah, pretty cool. He, he said, uh, we'll, we'll try and find it, but he said there's, a, there's an image hidden in there somewhere. Um, I don't know where they can point it out, but down here somewhere. He said that there was a, um, a circus that used to come here back in the 50s and 60s. And uh, there was a, an elephant that passed away. A baby elephant, sadly. And uh, it's been immortalized in the wheat field as far as a picture goes. So uh, if you're here in Feral Flats, your challenge is, is to find the baby elephant in the wheat. <laughs> I think he's having me on, but uh, we'll look into it. It's a nice little spot, Feral Flats. News flash. I think I've found it. The baby elephant. I'll give you a general area where it is. Uh, <laughs> in there somewhere. You really got to, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very subtle and it blends into the background uh, quite well. But uh, I, can, I can definitely make something out there that looks like a, a baby elephant. Jude's got some photos of it and um, hopefully we'll be able to zoom in and uh, see if we can check it out. But a good challenge to come and have a look at. Nice bit of history too. What an incredible um, day we've had. We've met up with this incredible bloke, um, Leo, and uh, we'll meet his wife, Jenny, later. Just an amazing, Aussie bloke. He's been on this uh, farm here in uh, Farrell Flats for all his life and it is incredible and he's brought us up to this uh, tower obviously uh, an MBN tower but what do you say to this oh, it's just spectacular we've got uh, yeah some wind farms in the distance they're going all the way up this uh, this ridge line that you can see here he's got canola he's got the wheat he's got some stock feeds some peas some beans <coughs> But at this spot here, you just feel like you're on the bloody top of the world. It's incredible. Look at it. It's an absolutely amazing time of the day to be here. Just gorgeous. Love it. It's been one of the highlights of the trip. It's just awesome. At the back he took me over <coughs> he took me over here there's um it's a lake over there i think it was porter lake or porter lagoon and uh it's awesome the little scars you see on the hill there are um uh, wind farms that are about to be put in but yeah absolutely incredible cracker of a morning here in uh, Farrell Flats. Sadly, we're on our way. We've had an absolute fantastic time, so a big shout out um, to uh, Leo and Jenny. Um, 
you, you two are an absolute legends and uh, yeah, absolutely enjoyed our time with you this year. Um, we're going to head on a bit further down. There's not much really going to happen. Um, it'll be power and a bit of water again um, uh, tonight. Um, looking at a couple of small little towns where we can get a little bit of work done, a little bit of editing. So uh, yeah, we'll give you a break for a little while. But uh, we'll catch up a bit closer to uh, Adelaide where uh, we get to another bit of the old Barossa. We'll see what's in that area, eh? But in the meantime, thank you, Feral Flats. It's been absolutely awesome. There we go. Cheers, all. <laughs>